do is treat it as just a late fee. And once you go 30 days, then we have to take the steps to start the eviction. Do we want to give them an automatic termination notice, or do we just want to make a board decision to start the board board after 30 days? Well, I'd go to the airport manager and authority to start the process. And if the person wants to appeal that, then maybe they can come before the board of the And as far as I'm concerned, the airport manager will have the authority to do it. Okay. I mean, you know, there may be special circumstances that arise. We said 90 day or we're just that far out of that much further out to the Approximately four years ago, maybe five, um, Tom worked the bowling alley uh, expressed um, he wanted everybody to quit using this dumpster for trash because cumulatively over the entire airport, it was, he didn't have room for his trash. He had to get extra pickups and it's costing him money. Um, an agreement was reached um, with the uh, fairgrounds so, so that everybody could use that dumpster. I guess they had budget cuts too, like everybody else, because the dumpsters are full, have been full for quite some time. They're not getting as many dumps as they used to. We currently have, I think, 11 of the big trash cans full that we have no place to dump. And it's wondering if, um, what's plan B? Well, how about we check with the uh, extension office? I thought we paid them so much a year. Well, they used to run the dumpsters. I never saw the agreement. As a matter of fact, I was on the airport board at the time. We, they always wanted to tell everybody what the agreement was, but uh, I never saw it. And like I said, it hasn't been an issue until now, but like I said, there's no place to take trash. Um, and we have quite a, a lot of accumulated. Well, um, we'd have to get a hold of the best way. I must be for dumpster. Well, that's a way to ask for it. Just for a small dumpster, but then they got to the issue of the big heavy trucks on the taxiway and they yeah, damaged. Yeah. They didn't want that, and there was really no place to put a dumpster on their airport property without taking the chance of causing damage to the taxiways when the, they pulled in. So they kind of shut that idea down. That's why they went to the fair board uh, as a plan B. Can we talk to Dan Wilson? Let's see why he says he can get space from the mouth. He has to get $100 for the space to put it in. Do we have to put that on the agenda for the next month? Yeah. Put it on the agenda. Website. The city has a website people go to for the city. Uh, I talked to Gary Herbert and uh, we 
like for us to join that website. The one time charge, I think it said $300. And after that, it would be, you know, like uh, June, to put the minutes on for the replay, that sort of thing. There'd be no more charges to us in the city. And take all that. I think that'd be a good idea to get out more information on there. But it would lose the three hundred dollars go to them for what purpose or what page people for that okay. Who's doing the city with the page now? Street Smart? Who? I don't know. Is I Street Smart been. doing it maybe? I don't know who's doing the city with the website. So just for the design. Well it's just a hook you up with a link I assume to the to the airport. I I I am not a website person at present. I would usually tell you know, the city of Facebook must be there on that. It's just the initial person that's set up. I think it's a great idea. I don't know. Is there anything that will go on there other than the minutes? Uh, like we had a resolution that all gets to represent all of them. Once you get the site, you pretty well put what you want to scan. You want to advertise everything that you can possibly advertise at the airport to make money off of, whether it be fuel or not. Whatever. Our website, we advertise everything out there, whether it be the park, the airport, whatever, we advertise everything out there. You can't hurt it with the cost of it. Uh, that's my question. Who designed our website? Well, that's why I asked who was yeah. maintaining it. I think the city changed that over to Street Smart. There's nobody here from the city. So. Do you know, Jim? I think you're right, as far as I they know. At least it started it, but I think they changed it over to <coughs> Street Smart a couple of years ago. But I can't, I can't 100%, yeah, I'm but I, there, I'm, right? I'm with I you on that. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think it's got to go, you know, I think we ought to do that. But, you know, I think we ought to have a design to, to have as much information on there. <laughs> Maybe even have, like, a, you know, have, a, have something like the, uh, you know, the layout. So what it does is it extends and uh, we can't make as many loads. I mean, we burn 400 pounds of fuel an hour in that airplane. If we can add one or two loads a day, which is uh, 
point four to point.